What is up guys, Strategers420 here, back with another episode, playing some more Spaceborne 2, it's going to be episode 13, uh, last we left off, I got my free, uh, freelance license and we went on a rescue mission, and then we also found um, alien thing yeah, this thing. I don't... It's called... It's called Alien Fantasia. I don't quite know what the purpose of these things are. Maybe once I get, like, a capital ship or something, then I might be able to take them over. I'm not quite sure. Um, but probably this episode... Let's see what missions we've got. Access to the main computer to hide out. Curious. Holy shit. That's pretty damn far, I'm not gonna lie. Cluster solar systems? No, that's each galaxy, I think. Warehouse Kane. Let's see. Actually, real quick, let's look at the diplomatic. Ooh. Independence. Some of these will have the wealth, but some of these... Wait, let's see. Okay, this factory is not making any money. But, no, same with that factory. And this mining base. So there's three of them that are losing money. Everything else is making money. Your overhead, you are making money overall. But then you gotta disperse to the other three and probably ended up making them work better, but... Yeah, let's uh, go back to... Let's end up going and doing the main... And the main mission and meeting up with Moltax. Probably be our best Warp bet. drive on. online. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Because we are in the pirate system at the moment.
we get our other plane back anytime soon. Please approach to the jump point to start jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the waypoint of your route. Please wait for your ship to be scanned. Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. The surface align process is completed, waiting for the thruster input. Landing gear deployed.
Hello to everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Cole. I am a technician. I set up the system I mentioned before. I also designed a communication interface where we can communicate with Earthlings. Now let me give a brief presentation of the system. Shut up, kid. Grown-ups are talking. <laughs> Okay, sorry. First of all, we must determine a path for our organization. There are a few things I want to say about this. First of all, we should not be subordinate to a single leader. We should have an internal council where everyone has an equal say. Then we must change our policies towards non-Earthlings. During my stay here, I saw that. There is no race in the galaxy that is hostile to us. Only some leaders have spent us. To get stronger. Therefore, no race should be our enemy. We must be merciful to all races. To civilians. Even to armies that see us as enemies. We must protect everyone who is with us or not. If we go down this road, we will gain the support of the entire galaxy. And the leaders who betrayed us have no choice but to listen to us. I believe we should learn from our mistakes and follow your father's footsteps. We must have a strong leader and a strong management team to be chosen by our leader. If we give every member of the organization a voice, we cannot advance even one step. I also disagree with Drain on our policy towards non-humans. After all, not every living thing on this planet is an angel. We must protect those who deserve it and punish those who do not. If we do not show mercy to those who see us as enemies, you will see that they will be afraid to fight us. And a feared enemy is always a simple prey. Drain is just bullshit, and we had tried Hanker's way before. As a result, we are meeting in the cave of a desolate planet. Yes, we need a leader. But our leader must be someone our followers will respect and fear. And every non-human creature in this galaxy is a monster. I've experienced this many times. And these creatures eat any living thing they are not afraid of. Therefore, we must first spread the fear they deserve throughout the galaxy. We must make this galaxy uninhabitable for them. As long as we exist, Everyone in the galaxy should sleep with one eye open. That's when those flamboyant leaders have to do whatever we want them to do. It's the only way to survive and bring this galaxy to its knee. So, the last word is yours. Which way do you think we should go?
I knew it. Your father would be proud of you if he were here. Oh, okay, fuck, which one let's repeat the same mistake. I'm starting to look for a suitable sewer for our next meeting. Okay. Here's your call. We can try the way again. I hope we don't end up the same. By the way, you should know that you can always change the main path of the organization from the Constitution interface. But when you do this, you'll lose many of the followers you have gathered so far. So if you want to change your path, you better do it before our organization grows. We need money and a safe base. Therefore, we must find ourselves a weak Star-Lord and take their land from them. But to achieve this, we first need ships, soldiers, and pilots. We must find the Earthlings and expand our- Therefore, our first goal should be to create five units. For this, we need 25 pilots or soldiers. Go design the communication interface for this. I am calling out on the radio to the Earthlings to reach us. Any question? For now it seems safe here. When we have the power to protect our base, we can go above ground. Any question? It shouldn't be hard to find Earthlings scattered across the galaxy. Any question? Alright. We can do it by capturing bases in the galaxy. But first we need a few battalions of soldiers and ships. Any question? By the way, I made a communication interface where you can easily connect with the Earthlings. Please take a look. Bold, I think you should show us how to use new interfaces. Sure thing. Okay, let's... Our new mail service is ready. You can view mails via the main interface or by clicking the mail icon in the upper right. What? Oh, you? What? Oh, faction. Okay, there we go. Diplomat. No.
Okay, we have three commanders. Our first mail has already landed in the inbox. To accept the tasks that come with the emails, you need to reply to them. Now reply to this mail and accept that mission. jumps. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input.
have to wait until we go to the next Official, not an official faction, but uh, like an empire. I'll probably have to wait till I go to an empire. Because these are pirates, I doubt they have like, their own prison. this episode here until next time i'll see you guys later if you like the content don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below and check out my other social medias as well until next time stretch 420 out peace